Hey guys and gals, I got one for you today. New crowd control drones will shoot protests with pepper spray. There we go. Technology like this obviously is meant. Sorry, it's doing all kinds of crazy shit, folks. All right, so drones are being used to take over different things. And what this is, is it's calling for a quadcopter, basically. It's exactly what this kind of drone is. Um, it's a copter of sorts, not quad being four. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, foot octet or whatever. Anyways, folks. This is what's called a quad cap, or whatever you want to call it, based on the uh, number of things. It looks like they have it rigged to uh, some kind of paintball system that has um, kind of a CO2 tank type thing. Um, I've been messing around a little bit in the hobby section of FPVs and RC flight vehicles and trying to order myself a little... Uh, quadcopter slash airplane, depending on which one is cheaper with my budget. And the idea that these, these guys are going to use this for crowd control. Um, folks, these things are already used. Let me just go a little bit here. These things are already used, um, at festivals to watch the crowd, they're in the air. The small ones are fine, you know, that 5, 10, 15 minute charge. But to say that you're going to dispatch one of these big ones, uh, that takes a lot of manpower. And I've seen these things, even on the internet, uh, go wacky with an under 10 mile an hour wind. So, uh, in theory, it'll be an acceptable way to do crowd control. But in application, I don't see it working as well as they think it will be. So, to whoever ends up with the contracts for the uh, UAV-style drones, good luck. Because it's not exactly uh, the most fundamental thing you can do. But... You know, pepper spray is one thing, but those guns can be put, you know, the, the rig they have, folks, can be easily substituted for shotguns and other things like that, depending on what it is. Basically, what that says is, instead of doing my duty in person, where I can make a moral or amoral decision and put an officer who has a face and a family in front of you, I'm going to put an RC vehicle or an aerial vehicle in its place and I'm going to substitute my law for my law and do unto others what they would not do unto me. And what that basically leads to, folks, is like I said, basically somebody putting pepper spray out and, you know, switching up to shotguns or something. It's not a good idea. So basically, all right, basically what it says is, um, and I haven't read everything, but these vehicle or uh, UAVs, quadcopters, whatever you want to call them for now, weigh about two kilograms. They, um, one of the police agencies have purchased five units for $1,000 per unit, which is better than what it should cost. A prototype of these drones were used in, by the Indian government earlier this year for the Muram and Republic Day. And the government was pleased with the technology, and they decided to develop full-time arsenal of drones. 
So again, folks, what we're getting is military and international contracts now for police. That's not good. Technology like this means only one thing, control of the citizens, of course. Now you don't have to have an officer out there. Now you can just send a drone, and they said that, that the um, units are going to use powder to spray onto the crowd. But event, but the rig I see up here, if this is any way near the range, let's see. Okay, here it is. Um, this middle part here can easily be substituted something that can hold AR-15s or something similar and shoot the crowd with bullets or shotgun or something. I mean, there's much people that mess around with different technologies and stuff and sell cars avidly or whatever your data is. Uh, police departments, I guarantee, will eventually put uh, lethal means on these drones and send them after uh, persons of suspected crimes and other things. And it, it won't just be a vessel for crowd control. It'll be a vessel for elimination. Now, doesn't matter what it is. Eventually, they're going to find out that leaving people, you know, that, that they can send one of these out and it doesn't matter. It doesn't have a family, doesn't have this, doesn't have that. They can put it up in the air 500 feet, you know, and then just start shooting you. That's it. And nowadays, with the technology, that can be half a mile away. You can just see one of these things in the air, and, and that's it. You're governmentally executed. Uh, they're going to start up or spray this or that, but it's all going to end up deadly. Some robots that were used in Iraq, police have them in Miami. Police have the bomb squad RC guys. You know, that, that hold the bomb and do things with the bomb and everything else. Eventually, they will have something where it has the actual physical gun on it, and they will use it to kill someone. So they don't have to endanger the life of an officer. Instead, the officer can be half a mile away. And you, can, you won't even be able to throw anything at these things because half the time you won't even know it's in the air. Yes, these things make a lot of noise, but you can also do a lot to calm the blades. You can spray them with adhesives. Um, I've seen all kinds of things that will quiet these things down to where if they're in the air high enough, a good couple hundred feet, you, you probably won't know it's in the air until it's too late. So for crowd control, stuff like that, we're getting touchy subject. I mean, it is a touchy subject. Eventually, it's going to come down to the lethal means, and that's when they're going to go, oh, look, we can put a shotgun on this and just go find that, you know, that XYZ over there. Oh, okay, cool. And that's that.